Okay, so this is going to be the third video in the series here, and we're going to play around a little bit with changing some colors. Uh, so this is like a slightly more advanced thing. In the last video, I talked about creating some Well, the very first video, we created circles. In the second video, we had those circles kind of move across the screen, added them to the screen, had them move across the screen. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have some circles that appear on the screen, and then I'll be able to change the color of all of them, something like this. And so that color will persist until it hits space, in which case they'll all change. Okay, uh, so let's get to the coding of that. All right, so in here I'm going to do something similar to what I did last time. Uh, I'm going to start with an array list. I need to make sure that I import my array list stuff first. If I don't have that already, import java.util.star. Um, I need to declare an array list. I'll probably skip this if you've seen this part already. If you need a refresher, let's put this in here. I'm going to do circle, circles. Actually, I'm going to delete the circle C. So I might want to use that variable C later on. Let's get rid of that. So this left over from a previous one. Let's get rid of all that, and we'll get rid of this too. Okay, so I need to make sure that I'm adding circles to my array list. Uh, I need to also first initialize my array list. I'm going to do that inside setup. So I'm going to say circles is equal to a new array list. And then I need to do, I'm going to do a mouse pressed. Like I did in the previous one, mouse pressed. And then inside here, I want to go into my, I can make a circle temp is equal to new circle, and then I need to pass the values that I want, like 100. Um, the location is going to be like my mouse X, my mouse Y. I'm going to pass in this to get access to the parent, or to get access to this um, P applet. And let's see, what I want to do? And then I want to do like if I press the space bar, so if the key pressed is space bar, I want to be able to go through all of my circles, so circle C and circles. I'm just going to code for what I want this to look like, and then I'm going to go through and actually write the code. Um, for all the circles in C, I'm going to do C that random color. I might have already set that up in the other thing. That should probably give me an error. I might still have that in my code. Uh, so anyway, so when I press when I press the space bar, I should go through and change these colors all randomly. Uh, inside of my draw, I want to do same thing maybe I've done previously. I want to look through for all my circles, and I just need to do display. Okay, now if we look inside the circle class, um, same thing I probably have to set up from previous ones. Um, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to st first I'm going to start I'm going to start by declaring an int variable that's going to keep track of the color. So if you don't know already, like you can just have a single value for color or a single int value can be our stand-in for color. So I'm going to say initially the color of all my circles is going to be 150, which should make it like a gray. And then, okay, so what I want to do is I want these all to have their own colors. Actually, you know what I could do in here? If, let's, let's make it a random color. To begin with, they're going to be a random color. So I can go into the parent. I can go into my P applet. There's actually a random class inside here where I can just like put in a number. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate a random number. It should. Um, it's going to generate a random number uh, between 0 and 255. It's saying here that basically it wants to be a float. I'm trying to store it in an integer and it wants to be in a float, so let me just change this to be a float. If you're not sure what a float is, it's basically the same thing as a double. It's a decimal value. There's some slight differences there. You can talk to me if you like aren't sure about it, but just well, we can just treat it as a decimal value. It's really all it is. Okay, so we're generating a decimal value here. Um, and then what I want to do in here, before I do my display, I want to say, like, we only have one fill that we can have for our screen. You know, so I just want to say that, hey, before you paint this ellipse, let's go into parent and let's change the fill to be whatever color I saved here. And so for each one of these circles, they're going to have like different colors. Um, and just before we actually create them, we're just going to say, hey, quickly change your fill color to, to my personal color. OK, um, so that's a cool little tool. We can just change the fill right before we paint these. And yeah, as we move on to the next one, it'll change the fill to that color. Um, and each one of these will keep track of their own colors. And I'll, you'll see what I mean here in just a second. I guess we could probably get started with this for now. Uh, we could just comment this out and come back to that. Let's run this and see how it's working. Um, we should have some circles. Uh, what are we not doing here? Did I create a new circle on? Oh, I created the circle, but then I need to go into circles. I need to actually add this. Add 10. So let's try that again. Cool. So I'm sure all these circles, they're pretty boring because it's just a random value between 0 and 255. So it's going to be some shade of gray. Um, I feel like there's probably better ways I could do that, but I'll, I'll leave that there for now. I don't know if we can come 
have a prettier version of that for sure. Um, yeah, I, I might come back to that, but let's, let's leave that for now. And then I do want to add in what I talked about doing was having like a random color method. The random color method is basically just going to change. We just want to change the value of color. Um, so I want to make this. Oh yeah, and this is actually what I could have done up here to make this a little bit better. Um, I can say something like this. I'm going to say color is equal to, and then we're going to go into the parent class. We're going to collect a color, and then we can generate some random numbers. Random 255, parent random 255, parent random 255. It's just generating values between 0 and 255 for each one of our RGB values. Uh, we're turning that, this is going to like turn into a single number, um, and then we're going to put that in here. So as we run this, we get all these different circles. When we hit space, nothing will happen because I commented that part out. As I said, so we click on this, and they're all going to change colors to be black. Well, that's not right. Okay, so that was a healthy pause in there. Um, coming right back to it for you, but I figured out the errors. I'm not 100% sure why it's doing this, what the difference is. Some way, so this is what actually I wanted it to happen. This is how I wanted it to happen. We should go create these circles, hit spacebar, and change it. If you look through the code, the changes I make, I did make this, I made this an integer rather than a float. When I did floats, it seemed like it was generating some weird numbers that didn't quite, didn't quite work out well. So anyway, so I have like a default color of pen here. Uh, and then I'm generating a random color here. Um, and now everything should work out. So whenever I do display, it's going to run through here. It's going to look through my display thing. It's going to set fill to be whatever the color is for the particular circle it's looking at. It's going to draw that circle. Um, and then we get space bar to generate a new random color. Okay, so that's how this is going to work in this. Um, I think what I'm looking for here is, again, using your array list and then also being able to generate some methods that we can use to um, make our circles or make whatever kind of classes we come up with a little bit more powerful and showing how we can kind of maintain, I guess what I'm really looking for here is how we can maintain some like individual var like values within a class, like how we can make sure that each circle maintains its color. Um, whether So that way, as this thing's running, we can draw a bunch of different circles and they're all going to maintain their individual color um, even as we are constantly resetting the background. So anyways, I'll stop it there, and yeah, that's helpful.